As we learn more about the sewage spill at the MSD plant, our partners at Carolina Public Press recently found many water quality violations along the French Broad River. News 13's Mario Boone joins us with more in tonight's reality check. And Mario, who is responsible for these violations? Well, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources has fined several businesses, local governments, even schools for polluting the river. Thousands of dollars in fines have been issued to local governments, school districts, and private businesses for repeatedly violating state water quality standards. That's the finding of a scathing 17-month report compiled by Carolina Public Press, a media partner to News 13. The past two years, we've had uh, a couple of fines on it, several several violations. Buncombe County Schools made the list because of multiple violations at North Buncombe High and several elementary schools that use septic tanks to treat wastewater. The fines kick in when tests show unacceptable levels of bacteria in the septic tank, which can be caused by simply washing a load of sports uniforms. So far, Buncombe Schools have been fined over $9,700, but they're not alone. Henderson County Schools got over $1,000 worth, and the city of Bravo was hit with over $31,000 in fines for similar water quality violations. The fines have to be paid with taxpayer dollars. But Buncombe school leaders say the fines are much cheaper than connecting to the city sewer system. The closest sewer we have is about four and a half miles away at the next school, which is North Windy Ridge School. And to pipe it that far, our estimates have been a little over $2 million. So they opted for a cheaper fix, expanding the current septic system at North Buncombe High. Now, a Buncombe School spokeswoman says this issue is on the agenda for the next Board of Education meeting and to see all of the water quality violations compiled by our partners at Carolina Public Press, log on to our website, WLOS.com, and click News Links.